take a bird's eye view of Australia's suburbs today. We're building the biggest homes in the world. McMansions, they're supersized and we're loving them. So I came straight in through your garage door. Do you actually use your front door at all? No. What does that say about the way we live today? Back in the 50s and 60s, and even the 70s when I was a kid, we had small homes with big backyards. The Australian quarter acre dream. It was modernism. It was the golden age of experimental design. And we built some of the best homes in the world. But somewhere along the way, we got lost. We've gone from modernism to McMansionism. We've retreated into inferior builds whose dominant feature is their size. My name's Tim Ross, and I'm an architecture tragic. I live in a 1950s house. I perform in iconic modernist buildings. <laughs> they called it the mullet house, which is sort of like business at the front, party at the back. <laughs> my stage show, part stand-up, storytelling and song, is all about my passion. Because to me, modernism is a metaphor for the hope of the mid-century, when small was beautiful. So let's go on a two-part road trip around Australia and beyond to meet the neighbours. One of the things that this house does so well is it brings the outside in. And the heroes. What's really interesting right now across Europe, the architects are now looking to Australia for our templates. We had our own identity and it was an original, triumphant identity. How do we end up here? What's Australian about our suburbs today? That's what I want to find out.